come around, come around. Family's here, come around, come around. Good time, yeah, come around, come around. No this year, come around, come around. Come around, come around. Family's here, come around, come around. Good time, yeah, come around, come around. No this year, come around, come around. We get down, UK waving now, we get down Oh, here's the original sound, but pivotal, pivotal now Told them mission is wow, soul is loud Jump in the crowd and we don't give a ow I feel the rhythm in the bass and yes I feel the rhythm in the bass and yes I feel the rhythm in the bass and yes Hey fairies and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be giving you guys a quick weave today. It is quick weave season, okay? The clippings I'm going to be using are some that I had just laying around that was left over from a company. Now these clippings are about a 1B color. I'm not going to be leaving any hair out today, but I still like that super dark jet black type of tone. And to do our jet black midnight color today, I'm going to be using a door in their black velvet and blue black color. I'm just going to mix those two colors together and apply that to the hair. Now, if y'all haven't noticed by now, everything is looking different in this background. I am in my new content house. I am so happy to be here because when I say everything in this house is built for content, girl, I have created my own little kingdom. So I just poured that dye all over the hair and I'm just going to massage it and get it all up in the curls. And while I do that, I'm also going to be detangling the hair at the same time. So I did let that dye sit for about an hour and I just rinse it off with some cold water. Definitely got that sink faucet for doing some hair, y'all. I was tired of not having this little nozzle on my kitchen sink, but the kitchen sink stylus is definitely not coming to play. After I rinse out those clip-ins, I'm just going to shampoo the hair. I'm not gonna be doing conditioner today, and I'm just gonna use this Ion sulfate-free shampoo. I'ma massage that in every single clip-in that I have, and after I've done all the bundles, I'm just gonna rinse that out with some cold water and let it air dry overnight. So I am on my natural hair journey. If you guys did not know, I have PCOS. And with that, my hair can tend to shed and just not grow correctly like it was back in the past. This does have rosemary in it. So you wanna be careful with using products with rosemary. They tend to dry your hair out if you use too much. And I am gonna be blow drying my hair today. So I'm gonna use some heat protectant first and massage that in my hair and then just blow dry my hair straight. Now, my hair has been growing slowly but surely I feel like I have a good month and a bad month all within the same time if y'all are a PCOS sister you know exactly what I'm talking about but one minute my hair wants to be super thick and then the next my scalp wants to start having that thin look and this is kind of one of those times I'm getting over so you can see in my parting it's not as full as I would have liked so that's why I'm going to be doing this no leave out quick weave doing the crochet method without using a crochet hook. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just put my hair in a ponytail and I'm gonna use this Sebastian Shaper hairspray just to mold back my hair. Usually I will go in with something like a gel but because I have naturally curly hair once I put that gel on it is going to curl up and I'm going to be wearing curly hair but I don't want my hair to curl. So I'm just going to spray that hairspray in and just brush it back until it starts to slightly harden on my hair and then I'm just going to be braiding my ponytail today I have a little little ponytail okay she is kind of coming through just a little bit but I wanted to braid that back because I didn't want that super prominent bold not look in the back and to hold my braid down I'm just going to use a rubber band and to just get my braid as close to my hair as possible I'm just going to bobby pin that down so this is the easiest prep for doing my clip-ins it is a braidless method it is also glueless so anyone that is looking for a protective style and something that is just a 2024 upgraded version of an invisible part type of quick weave, this is definitely the method for you. I used one full pack from one bundle and then I used only the longer clip-ins in the second bundle and I still had a lot of clip-ins left over. I start with the clip-ins that have about three clips on them and I put both of those in the back. Then I move on to using the clip-ins with four clips in it and put those about one inch above 
above the other clip-ins. So it's so unfortunate that I was not really able to promote this company because I actually really love their hair texture on their clip-ins. But just personally, I feel like I don't really like the way that they do business. I have been seeing that people complain about how expensive their clip-ins are. In my opinion, I feel like they are worth the price because you can keep them for a very long time, the same thing as a wig. But then at the same time, it's like if you're gonna be charging that much, I would prefer you to have very good customer service as well, which they did not. Unfortunately, I cannot really give you guys the tea, but just me personally, they will not be promoted on my channel. After I worked on the three clip-ins in the back, I went ahead and put the four clip clip-ins in the middle, and then I just finished it off with the two clip clips, and I put four of those at the top, but I made sure that I left about a couple centimeters of space in between the clip-in and my natural parting, because we are gonna be doing an invisible part method so just make sure you guys leave a little bit of space in that area So this is how much hair I had left from just using that bundle and a half. And now I'm just gonna start to part my hair to the side because I wanna do one section at a time. So I'm gonna be using a beater and I'm gonna be using this to crochet my hair instead of using the actual crochet hook. You guys can notice that I did leave a little bit of hair out on top about one to two centimeters. That's because we're gonna be using that to crochet the hair through. You first wanna start by taking a small section of hair and putting that through the beater. I've been using a comb to do so because I do have longer nails, but if you guys don't have long nails like me, you can definitely catch that hair through. You can definitely go ahead and use your fingers to do so. But I'm gonna take one small section at a time and just take my time putting the hair through the beater and creating something like an invisible part. This is definitely giving 2024 invisible part vibes. I used to be an invisible part girly. I don't know if you guys would even remember that type of method back in the day for quick weave. It was basically a method similar to this to have a protective style from having your hair grow and not touching it, not styling or whatever, but still being able to achieve that super natural look. This is just a healthier version and a healthier way of doing so. And I definitely love it because it's super easy. This style only took me 30 minutes to do and my hair is well protected underneath. So I just went ahead and took my time doing one side at a time. And you guys wanna make sure that you are covering the entire track. These tracks are the classic weft tracks and I love these so much better for thinner, finer hair. My hair is considered on a thin, finer side and when you use the other version of these clip-ins, it's too much space going on and I don't really like it for my thinner hair. So thank God they came out with the more classic, thinner wefts. The last thing I wanna touch on is how long this style would last. I would definitely say this style can last me up to a week. After a week, I would recommend you guys just to take it down and wash your hair and maybe do it over again if you really like the style that much. But this is definitely super easy to take out. All you have to do is unclip the hair and it slides right out. I love doing this method. I feel like it's so easy. It only takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to do and I don't have to worry about any glue, braiding, or damage to my hair. Now to get the rooting super natural and realistic, we wanna make this look like this is our natural hair. You wanna take a razor and lightly, gently start to tease Tease the beginning and root area of the clip-ins. You wanna do this very lightly because razors can be pretty sharp. So just make sure you are tilting it at an angle and you're not cutting it directly head first because you wanna do it more of a shedding look instead of a cutting look. Now that we are done with the rooting area, I'm gonna move on to doing some layering. You definitely do not have to cut this hair whatsoever. You can just skip this part and just move on to me defining the curls. I'm first going to start by framing framing the bangs of the hair. And I like to cut about my chin area. This is curly hair, so definitely keep in mind it is gonna curl up shorter. So I didn't want my bangs too low, but I didn't want them too high. Then I started to frame the sides of the hair. I don't really like to take my layers all the way in the back. I like the back area to be a lot more full. So I only concentrated the areas on the front part of my head.
So now I'm going to take my favorite mousse. That is the mousse def mousse. And I'm going to use this mousse to define the ends of the hair. You want to start doing this in very small sections and put a good amount of mousse on the ends of the hair. And you want to kind of comb it out with your finger and flatly start to wrap it around your finger. You want to take your time doing this because you want to make sure the hair is super flat. You don't want it to start to spiral curl because that will give us a whole completely different curl. And we are trying to get certain curls out of this hair you also want to make sure that you are using a lot of mousse girl the more mousse the better because the more product that's on it is the drier it's going to be and the harder it's going to be we want to have it pretty hard because when we start to undefine the curl we want that definition to still be on the ends of the hair so i just took my time and went around every single section of the hair on both sides until i had the entire hair done Now y'all can see these curls are shop hopping. You could definitely leave the curls just like this, but I wanted to have the curls be a little bit different than this. I normally always leave the curls like this, but I wanted to take it to the next level. So I'm gonna take that blow dryer and we are going to blow dry the rest of the hair. I went off the camera and did my makeup. So the hair is pretty much about 80% dry, but I just wanted to blow dry that extra 20% left. Once the hair is dry, we are going to start to unravel the curls. You want to make sure that you are taking your time doing this because we want to unravel the curls to give us that definition and volume, but we don't want to create any frizz. I love the mousse def mousse because it is a textured mousse. It creates a hard cast on the hair. So when I start to do this method, they stay super intact and it gives me that super beautiful curl that I wish my natural hair looked like, but that's okay girl, because we got these clip-ins to do it for me. Once I take out all the curls, we are gonna go in with my pick and start to pick at the roots of the hair to create some volume. But I am gonna go in with my blow dryer one more time to give us that extra oomph that this hair definitely needs. Now we're gonna go back in on our parting and we are gonna camouflage that jaw a little bit more. So my little scalp needs a little bit of help, you know, in the middle part. So I'm just gonna take some black eyeshadow. She is the trusty handy dandy tool of the year. And we are going to apply that powder on the outer edges of the parting. This just is the same thing as what the guys be doing with their hair and camouflaging any sparse area when it comes to them going to the barbershop. This is the same thing 
thing, girl, I, just in a girl version. So we're just going to put that powder in until we have it on both sides and then take a paper towel and start to massage that in. You don't want to have it that super stark black look. You want to have it a little bit more of a camo effect. And look at that drawn. It is blended nice and good. Now I ended up blow drying my hair for at least five minutes on medium heat and the curls is given, girl. Don't worry about this little section of hair that's in the back. I actually ended up noticing it on camera and I just ended up cutting that off and evening it with the rest of the hair. But this is definitely the ending result. It is absolutely beautiful. I am obsessed with this style. I have been doing this technique for about the past three to four months off camera. Y'all have not seen me. I've been ghost, but girl, I have been coming with the content, coming with the videos, coming with the techniques, coming with the methods, okay? Let me know how you guys think I did down in the comments down below. Can't wait to see you guys in my next one, like always. And bye, girl. <laughs>